Hello everyone, welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Today is Sunday, as usual. Um, I am home from church and um, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. Um, the sun is shining. There's a little bit of chill in the air, but not too much. Um, I did not wear this today. I wanted to show you that top that I had worked on. It's an Ellie and Mac pattern. It is the um, Summer Nights jumpsuit or two separates. And I made the separates. The pants were a total fail. I don't think there's anything that I can do to save those. But I wasn't convinced that I couldn't fix the top. And if you remember from my last video, this top, it has an elasticized, it can be off the shoulder. I tightened up my elastic to make it where it isn't. Um, but it's a very, very short, boxy. The sides are extremely straight. Um, I'm really too old and my body just isn't the type of body that can wear a short boxy top where uh, my abdomen is going to show if I move a certain way. Um, so I was very, very disappointed in the top and the pants. But um, I did fix it and um, I added, I had some actually, um, well, I had some fabric um, and stretchy uh, fabric in a gray and I used it before for some tops that I made. I think some the Nancy Raglan I think I used it on and some other things. It's a really nice stretchy fabric. So I took that and I cut it the same width as the top but I cut it 10 inches in height, folded it over Cut one long piece so I had one, you know, you, t you sew the short sides together, fold it in half, and uh, so I put the seam in the back because there's only one seam. And I also took a cashmere pattern that I had for the Springfield top, which is a woven tank top that I have made. I made it last year, and it is a beautiful. Um, pattern. I really do recommend it. And it's a looser tank top, but it has great shape like cashmere does. And so it goes in nicely uh, in the waist area and comes back out. I took that pattern, I laid it on top of the of this top, and I um, drew a line with a uh, water-soluble marker, and I sewed, surged it, so now this top is tailored in and it has five inches of length to it. So I think it is wearable. I have not worn it yet. Um, I just put it on when I got home because I didn't wear this out. It's a little too chilly for this kind of a top. I'm going to stand up and let you have a look at it. And um, I think it's good. I don't think I'll ever make it again. It's just, you know, you hate to go through all of that to have something that is is wearable. It's just not worth the time. I'm glad I could do it, but, um, you know, I don't know if I want to, it's too much to do. So I'll stand up and show it to you. Okay. This, this is it. Now it's, these are just plain old jeans. It's uh, long enough to wear with jeans, probably not long enough to wear with some leggings, um, unless it's around the house. So side view, the back view here is the seam right here. Um, I, I'm pleased with it. I'm glad it's done. I did hem the sleeves. Uh, I told you in the last video that I did, this is the short sleeve. I think it's the short, yeah, this is the short sleeve, but I did add an inch. So the short sleeves were actually much shorter and then they had three quarter. I didn't have enough fabric to do that. So anyway, it, it worked out. Um, it is tailored in here instead of being a box and uh, much more, I think, um, pleasing to the eye, pleasing to the body. And that's it. So um, I appreciate it. I Next time I want to show you a pair of leggings that I made. Um, they are called the pegs. 
They're put out by um, Patterns for Pirates, which is a very nice pattern company. Um, I like them a lot. This is a free pattern. I'll tell you more about it next time that came out great. And I used, as a matter of fact, this fabric here to make the, the pegs. So um, have a great week and I will see you later. Bye-bye.